that you gave the solo. <laughs> There will be a concert. There. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And welcome to the 20th anniversary season of the Chicago Community Chorus, when everybody loves to sing. Our theme this year is Better Together. We recognize that many of them could be other places, but if you look at this choir, you will not see any other choir that looks like us. We have some of everything. If you look at it, you'll see it. You see what I'm saying? Just give them another hand. I want to remind you to silence all of your devices. So, you might want to turn it off, or at least make sure you have uh, your volume down. If your phone rings, it'll be on the live stream, and then there'll be a little arrow that will point to you. <laughs> could be, could be. Well, for those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Keith Hampton. I'm proud to be the founder, the artistic director of the Chicago Community Chorus. We have several singers who are making their debut this evening. We just ask them to stand and let's applaud them. New singers. Joining us during the pandemic, we have one singer that comes from Memphis, Tennessee. She's here. We have another singer coming in from Madison, Wisconsin. She's here. We have another singer that we tend to think is Chicago, but she lives most of the time in Minnesota. So everyone is here. Give them a hand. Thank you to Greater Harvest Missionary Baptist Church for having us. A lot of churches still are on safe mode. They are not allowing outside people. As you know, COVID still exists. People have decided to take a chance, but it still is here. Right. As a result, our singers will be wearing their masks while they're singing because we would like to live till the next concert. <laughs> Handel's Messiah. It's in three parts. The first part is the Advent section, and where you'll hear the soloist and the choir comment about the prophecy of a little child that's going to be born, who is going to be called the Son of God and the Savior of the world. For those who believe in that story, it goes on into part two, which is the Christmas section starting with Behold the Lamb of God. And in there, we do all kind of celebration. Surely he has borne our grief because according to the theology of those who believe this theology, that this child is coming to save us all from ourselves because you do know we don't listen. And as a result, we have entered a world of sin and God then sent his own son, right, to come and then die on the cross, and you'll hear that in part two, for our sins. It says, and with his stripes, we are healed. Then the third part is the Easter section. And this is the part, again, if you believe in this particular theology of where after Christ has died, Christ rises again. The old preachers say, and on the third day, right? That kind of a thing. So you'll get that. The soprano solo starts, I know. She doesn't say, I wonder, I think. Is it possible? She says, I know that my Redeemer liveth. And after that part, we say, since by man came death, then it says, the trumpet shall sound. And we'll have a wonderful solo in print. I don't know what Prince's last name is, but <laughs> Prince will play. And then we go through here, and then 
the people of God begin to mock death and begin to mock sin. A wonderful duet to Nia and Chris will sing, who, by the way, not only will he be singing a solo, and the solos of the turn apart, he will also conduct the choir. Why? Because he can. If I could, I would sing solo, I would conduct the choir and play in the orchestra. But I can't. But Tania and Chris sing, oh death, this is after Christ has risen. Where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? They're mocking death. And then the, the chorus of angels say, but well, thanks be to God. And then the soloists come again and says, if God be for us, who can be against us? And then we end up with, worthy is the lamb that was slain. And we close it out saying, amen and amen. When you get to that part, you know it's time to go. Amen? <laughs> amen. Just a little quick note, there will not be an intermission, but after the hallelujah chorus, of where it's traditional that people stand up and sing along, you are invited if you feel so moved. And why did that happen? In a performance in England, the king of England really didn't to stretch his legs. He stood up to stretch his legs, but the people stood up because the king stood up. Amen? And it has become a tradition for the hallelujah chorus. But after that, we will do a seated intermission and our chorus officers will come and have some kind of fun activity with you. I don't even know what it is. So make sure you pay attention to that because it might benefit fit you. Amen? Amen? Amen. So again, on behalf of the board of directors, our elected officers, our music staff, our wonderful singers, Solos at the Chicago Community Chorus Orchestra. We present for you Handel's Messiah in three parts. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
the Lord of hosts. Yet once a little while, and I will stay. And the earth, the sea, and the dry land, and I will change, and I will change. All nations I'll shake the heavens, the earth, the sea, the dry land. All nations I'll shake, and all is shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom he delighted. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. For he is like 
but if I don't smile, and who shall start when he appeareth? When he appeareth, for he is like for if I.
Thank you.
that see him, laugh him to scorn. They shoot out their lips and shake their heads. And why do the people 
well, as I told you, we'll just have a little short um, exercise with you. I'm not sure what it is, but some people will come and will leave whatever that is. Um, but while they're coming to the forefront, I'd like to just take a moment and you have in your programs people who make donations to make the Chicago Community Chorus what it is. We just come together because we love to sing, but it's because of your support that you're here today and you gave some money that we're able to have all of this right here. This is real money on stage. <laughs> real money, not money you wish you had, but this is the real thing. And if you look at our list of donors, um, that is partially thanks to those of you who are donors to the Chicago Community Chorus. It's still not too late. If you got here and you now have been touched and you feel, oh my God, I had no idea. I only came to the concert because I eat their food. I ride in their car. I live in their house. But now that I'm here, oh my God, I can still make a contribution to the Chicago Community Chorus so that they will continue to be better together. Amen. Amen. Our president, come on this way, please. This is the president of the Chicago Community Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hampton. Thank you, everyone. You know, it's cold outside, but it is hot in here. Is that right? Is that right? Such beautiful music. We can't thank you all enough for being here. You support the, the choir in so many different ways. Uh, you support us uh, moral support. You're here. You're cheering us on. You hold down the situation at home when your singers come to rehearsal all the time. So thank you so much for all of that. Um, we love your... Your, uh, we would love your social media support as well. You know, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. We send out the occasional tweet from time to time as well. Uh, so please find us. We have a YouTube channel, like us, share our information. Uh, we're so happy to share the word. If you wanna come sing with us, we would love it. You know, you don't have to audition. I see some of you out there and you're, you're feeling it, I know you're feeling it, so please, please come sing with us, no audition. The only requirement is that you love to sing and you show up for rehearsals. Amen. <laughs> and put up with Dr. Hampton. <laughs> uh, and, also, um, and also your financial support. Of course, you come, you bought tickets, you provide donations, we could not be more grateful. Some of you might remember, uh, if, if you came to our concerts before COVID, we used to have a merchandise table out in the lobby where we would sell logoed merchandise uh, for you to take home, for you to gift to your singers on the stage. I'm happy to say that we have moved that to an online environment now. So if you look in your program, um, I just wanna highlight for you, it's in the last page. It says, shop now, our new online store. Um, so we wanted to make the, uh, these items available to you um, in an online environment. So uh, the QR code is there. You can even shop right now if you want to. Yeah. Um, I brought some items that we have available in the online store, just three of them. Now there are three of you out there who have a sticky note on that page that says, you're a winner. Do you see that? Do you see that sticky note? There should be three. Oh. I, I know, I know they were put there. Oh, does she, does she have one? Oh, okay, so there, so there are three, yes. There should be two others. So I'm gonna ask you, so I just brought some stuff to show you. You know we have these nifty, uh, these fantastic. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes. This is what the little sticky note looks like. So if you have one, come on up or send Oh, yay, okay, okay, come on. So we have these wonderful baseball caps, right? So these items are for you. Um, 
or for you to gift to your singers on the stage. I know there are singers on the stage who would love a blue spell cap because they've mentioned it to me. <laughs> we have, we have a, um, uh, like a, things like a coffee mug. We have this great little tote bag. This is my favorite for my gift givers who are watching online. This is my, this is my favorite. Um, but uh, we just wanted to make these available to you. So uh, I'm sorry that those of you online don't have gifts available, but that's the benefit of coming in person to the show. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. So anyway, so thank you so much for your support. We have these gifts for you. What is your name? Eleanor, this is Eleanor. Do you which one do you want, Eleanor? Do you want the coffee mug or the hat or the bag? Okay. <laughs> Isn't she cute in her gift? Molina. Molina, Molina, thank you. Would you like this one?
thank you very much. During this holiday time, understand everybody's not in a joyful mood. If you can do something to comfort, to heal, to soothe someone else, be that person. Amen. Amen.